All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back here to um, back from a few days here for the wrestling memorabilia autograph eight by ten collection. We left off here with binder five on Tuesday. Today is Saturday, August twenty seventh, twenty twenty two. And uh, let's look at the Hurricane Helms. We're now going to binder number six. So let's take a look here at binder number six. And we open up with a combo here of Ice Train and Teddy Long. So you see Ice Train sign there, Teddy Long there. Ice Train, um, a big implement in WCW, very important in WCW um, back in 93 and 94. And he made a return in 96, 97, 98, around that time. Okay. So there's Ice Train. Um, let's just try to get the lighting here good. So this will pull that up a little bit. Okay. All right, we'll keep going. Next here, we have um, a current product tag team. Look up their names. Okay, so they're called Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. They are the Iconics. So right here is Peyton Royce. There is Billy Kay. Collectively, these female wrestlers are known as the Iconics. So there they are, the Iconics. Again, apologize here. I guess it's a little too bright, but um, I'm trying to get you guys to see it well. And I guess they're the uh, women's tag team champions for Shimmer or whatever federation they came from. I just bought this one because they're some attractive ladies. I don't know much about them. All right, next, I got this one from Eric Sims. These are the Invaders. This one is pretty new. So we have um, Jose Gonzalez and whoever the other guy is. They are called the Invaders, number one and two. So there they are, the Invaders. Not too many autographs of them around. Next, we have the legendary Iron Mike Sharp. Arr, he always gets very frustrated. There he's signed down there is Iron Mike Sharp. There he is in the ring. And then on the back here, we have another Iron Mike Sharp, a smaller pitcher. So not many of him available these days. These days, a lot of people on a lot, but um, I was able to get two of them, though, back in the day. So I have the big photo and a smaller one there of Iron Mike Sharp. All right, next one is I'm going to make you humble and pay the Iron Sheik. This is his famous bout against Hulk Hogan, I think, when Hogan won the world title from him. And it's signed there on top by the Iron Sheik. Really nice one there of the Iron Sheik. All right, here's an interesting one. This one also came from our buddy ESS, Eric Sims, years ago, even before the Facebook Lives and all that stuff. I just bought off his website years ago. So it's from an independent show. It's signed by the Iron Sheik over here, Sonny, who managed them, I guess, and Nikolai Volkov. So it's the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov, along with Sonny, triple signed. It says Tag Team Champions, Iron Sheik, Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov with the original Diva Sonny. And then they are with the title belt. So pretty cool one of Sheik, Volkov, and Sonny. All right, next one came from our good buddy, Daniel Bessels. I guess he got this one um, maybe from Tmart or somebody. Here we have Mike Rotunda, IRS, and VK Wall Street. So all three gimmicks that Mike Rotunda had. Um, he was originally Mike Rotunda in WCW, later on became VK Wall Street, and there he is as Erwin R. Scheister, IRS. So nice one of um, the three gimmicks of Erwin. And here's a cool solo one. I used to have one just said IRS, but I got rid of it, and I kept this one. He actually signed the whole name. Not too many graphs of him where he signed the whole name. So he wrote Erwin R. Scheister, and there's the picture of IRS with the briefcase. And again, signed the whole name, Erwin R. Scheister. So there he is. That one also came from our good pal, Daniel Bessels. This one is, uh, I believe it came from Scott Ferenzi. It's Dr. Isaac Yankum, DDS, on a cool WWF uh, or a copy of a WF promo picture from 96, and it's black and white, so he wrote I Yankum for Isaac Yankum. I think the only other people I see really selling Isaac Yankum is that Joe Ellen Kelly lady. So a uh, cool one of Dr. Isaac Yankum. I know Kane really doesn't like signing that gimmick too much. I see we have two watchers right now. If you guys are watching, you want to leave comments, go ahead. Next, we have the Islanders. We have Haku here and Tama over there. So collectively, they are the Islanders, Haku and Tama. Cool black and white photo of them. All right. That, we, that one came, from, by the way, from Bud Carson. There's his cert. All right. Next one is a color photo of the Islanders. So again, Haku here, Tama there. So the Islanders here, uh, Haku and Tama. So legendary tag team. This picture is from 1987. Okay. And that one came from um, the wrestling universe. Okay. Next one. This one came from T Mart. It was one half of the jumping bomb angels. And her name is 
Itsuki Yamasaki. So Itsuki. So it says I Yamasaki. So Itsuki Yamasaki. And again, that one came from our good pal T Mart, one half of the bomb, Jumping Bomb Angels, the famous ladies tag team from 87 88. Itsuki Yamasaki. All right, next we have Ivan Koloff, signed right over there. So cool picture of him with the title belt he's holding. Nice pose in the ring of Ivan Koloff. Next one, Polish Poa, Ivan Putski. So we signed right here, Ivan Putski, and there he is standing tall. It's the only Putski I really have other than him on cards. I know some people have a lot of him, like combos with Tito, but this is my only Ivan Putski uh, 8x10 autograph. All right. Next one is Ivory, signed up here. So pretty cool one there of the Diva Ivory. There she is in a dress, Ivory. All right, next one. I got this one um, not too long ago from Scott Williams. It's uh, Jack Briscoe. Not too many Jack Briscoes out there. There he is with the uh, NW World title. And this one's also JSA certain. So there's the sticker down there. You saw the back, the certificate. So cool one of Jack Briscoe. Nice color photo with the world title. Very rare autograph um, to have in your collection, Jack Briscoe. All right, next one. Uh, this came from one of the Gore brothers. Um, it says, to Dan, best wishes, Jack Doan, WWF 1995. So Jack Doan was a WWF referee. This is on a magazine page. So pretty cool autograph of Jack Doan. Uh, speaking of you know rare autographs of like referees, I believe ring announcer Bill Dunn and Billy Silverman are going to be doing a signing, but it said it's 11 months from now. I have a good pal Jimmy Rooney told me that. But who knows if those guys are going to be alive or show up in July 2023. <laughs> There's a cool one of Jack Doan. Not many autographs of Jack Doan out there. There's the back of the magazine page with Doink on it. Okay, this one's rare too. Only me and the Rooster House got this. We bought this from a guy on eBay. Sign right here by Jack Tunney here, right there. You can see like in silver or gold color. So it's whoever this fan is, this is the guy who sold to us. This fan met them. So we have the fan, Brutus Beefkick, who didn't sign it, and Jack Tunney. Not many Jack Tunney autographs out there, so it's very cool to have Jack Tunney. Um, I've met Beefkick before. Maybe if I meet him again, maybe I will possibly bring this to add to the collection. But, you know, I don't really go out of my way since meeting wrestlers in person is very expensive these days. But an autograph of the legendary WWE president, Jack Tunney. Cool, cool, and a cool picture there of him, uh, Beefcake and the fan. All right, our next one is um, this guy's legendary in WCW and ECW. His name is Jack Victory. Sign right here, Jack Victory. I believe this one came from our good pal, Scott Ferenzi. So cool one there, Jack Victory. He even wrote inscribed 82 on it. So I guess it's, this picture is really ancient then. All right. Our next one is the Jackal, also known as Don Callis. He was in WWF. He managed the Truth Commission. He's with Kurgan in the picture. This is the Jackal, and he signed Jackal up there. I know at one point I had a magazine page of him, too, but I sold the magazine page. I just have the um, 8x10 here of the Jackal. All right, next one is Jacqueline. She signed right here is Jacqueline. There she is with the woman's title. Nice picture there of Jacqueline. This is a combination. We got PMS here. So you have Jacqueline up there. And we have Terry Runnels down over here. So there's Jacqueline and Terry, double signed. So the PMS, Jacqueline up here. Terry Runnels down there on the bottom. So nice combo of them. Next one's a solo one of Jacques Rougeau. I believe this one also came from Scott Williams. It is, again, JSA certed. So you see it there in the back. So there's Jacques Rougeau, like um, ready to wrestle in the ring. Cool solo picture of him. And um, as you see on the back here, I also have um, this one came from our good pal, Bob Piveroff. The guy meets tons of wrestlers we talked about before. Signed right up here by Jacques Rougeau. So there's Jacques meeting Bob. Our next one is Jake the Snake Roberts. Nice one there, Jake the Snake Roberts. He's holding Damien. There he's in green. We got some, a lot of like uh, dust collecting here from these. Um, binders and stuff, but a nice picture there of Jake the Snake Roberts. And there's the cert of it from Ultimate Sports Collectibles. All right, here's another one of Jake the Snake. Some people have this one double signed. Uh, Marty got it one time from other people. This is just signed though by Jake the Snake Roberts from the WrestleMania 7 blindfold match. Rick Martell and referee Danny Davis also in the picture, but again, just signed by Jake the Snake Roberts um, from the WrestleMania 7 match. All right, this one came from uh, Tommy Fierro. 
This is signed by Jake the Snake Roberts. This is after the Saturday Night's main event match with Macho Man. And he was about to hit Macho and Elizabeth with the chair, and Undertaker pulled it away. So cool photo there, just signed by Jake the Snake Roberts. All right, this one came from the guys at Wrestling Universe. It is a double signature. We have Jake the Snake Roberts over here, Hacksaw Jim Duggan over there. And this is kind of when they were promoting their Survivor Series 88 uh, five-on-five match. So it's double signed by Jake the Snake and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And there's the Wrestling Universe cert. Our next one, another double signature one. It's Jake the Snake Roberts and the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. So he wrote, trust me, Jake the Snake Roberts. And over here it says, Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man. So that's from the WrestleMania Six match again. They had a long feud for it lasted about a year. And this is Jake the Snake and DiBiase um, in the ring. Pretty cool picture there with DiBiase putting the Million Dollar Dream signed in green paint pen by both guys. All right. Our next one is signed by two people it's james j dylan over here and the outlaw ron bass over there so they're in the picture over there it's it's black bart who didn't sign it james j dylan signed over there and the outlaw ron bass who signed over there so cool combo picture of james j dylan with ron bass the outlaw okay next one is signed by jameson i know some people got him from like the live maybe it was you jimmy rooney and some others there's jameson though he signs like the little cartoon character the little kid funny guy in primetime wrestling and did funny skits with bobby the brain heenan this is from a 1991 um picture of him jameson it's actually his birthday too i saw today on facebook so that's pretty ironic we went to him today uh, next one's a little hard to see. It's signed by Jamie Dundee. Luckily, it's the afternoon, so you can see it pretty well. It's signed like a black on a blue background, so very dark. Jamie Dundee, who was also in um, PG-13 with Wolfie D, so just signed by Jamie Dundee. He's also the uh, son of Bill Dundee, who we saw earlier. That came from the Wrestling Universe. Another solo one, this one came from Scott Frenzy, I believe. This is Jamie Noble. Nice picture of him with a title belt. A cool young Jamie Noble. Here's a combo. This one came from uh, Dana Frank. It's Jamie Noble and Nydia. So a nice combo. I know they were together like in 02, 03, maybe even the beginning of 04. So Jamie Noble with Nydia. Nice uh, dual sign piece of them. Next one came from uh, Bobby Grambling. It's Jasmine St. Clair. So she signed Jasmine St. Clair. There she is with her pierced belly button ring you can see in the bikini. So we have Jasmine St. Clair. She wrote Jasmine St. Clair Love. All right, here we have a former ECW television champion, Jason Knight, or just called himself Jason. He said, how do I look in my suit? So they're signed by Jason. This one came from our good pal, Eric Sims, Jason. Uh, next one, not the greatest signature, but we still have at least something signed by him. The rare one of Chief J Strongbow. You saw it right there. He signed strong, pr small print down there, J Strongbow. On a magazine page, this came from one of the Gore brothers. So we have Chief J Strongbow. I know Rooster House has got a better one than I do, but, or maybe it's Tom Hernandez. Someone's got that. But this is J Strongbow right down there. Okay. All right, moving along, there's the back page of the magazine. Here we have Jazz, nice um, silver marker or paint pen, whatever it was, the woman's title belt. Excellent picture of the former women's champion, Jazz. And I know she signs through the mail as well. Here we have our next one. We have Jean-Pierre Lafitte. So the guy who plays PCO, this was his 1995 WWF gimmick when they called him Jean-Pierre Lafitte. And there he is in the pirate gimmick and all, the eye patch. Excellent picture there of John Pierre Lafitte. All right, this one I got from Marty at last year's gathering. Uh, it took a while for him to ship, but I got it eventually. This is Jeff Gaylord. He also um, played one of the knights in the you know the Survivor Series '93 match with Shawn Michaels and his three knights. So it's Jeff Gaylord. There he is. Here we have Jeff Hardy, a solo one of Jeff Hardy, and there's this interesting symbol, how he signs. So a cool one there of Jeff Hardy. Next is Double J, Jeff Jarrett, signed right there. He's a cool one of him in the ring and the microphone. I believe that one came again from Scott Ferenzi. Get the coolest uh, pose pictures. This one, Double J, Jeff Jarrett. All right, here's a triple signed one. We have 
Um, Jeff Jarrett right over here. Deborah down here. So I know she signed blue on blue. It's a little hard to read, but there it is. And Owen Hart up here with the – and then they are the tag team champions. So triple sign, Jeff Jarrett, Deborah, and Owen Hart. So that's a pretty cool um, triple sign photo of those three. Okay. Here's Deborah again if you want to get a closer look. There's the Owen Hart for a close signature. There's Jeff Jarrett. Hard, very hard to get Owen and nice to get a triple sign piece of these three. And there's some more information on the sign and everything like that. All right, here's the next one. We have Jeff Jarrett and Miss Kitty. So Miss Kitty here, who is uh, Jerry Lawler's wife. There she is with Jeff Jarrett, a double sign one. Um, and there's this cert thing that came with it. Okay, Jeff Jarrett and Miss Kitty. All right, next one. I used to have a Jerry Allen. I had to uh, trade it back, though, so at least I got something of him. So there's like a photo not signed, but it's uh, an index card with this picture on it signed. It says, to Steve, best regards, Jerry Allen, 1987. So Jerry Allen, a very rare autograph to have. Pretty cool um, index card. He was a low-card guy in the WWF from like 86 to 88. So we have Jerry Allen on that little index card. So pretty cool photo there. This one I got through the mail here along with uh, our good pal Brad Rochester. It's from Jerry Lynn. So he wrote uh, Lightning Foot or something. Jerry Jerry Flynn. So this was, oh yeah, Lightning Foot. That's cool. It's true. He had quick fees, like a mixed martial art guy. So a nice WCW uh, picture of him. Jerry Flynn from WCW. Okay. Next up is Jerry Lawler. So Jerry the King Lawler. He wrote King Jerry Lawler. Nice picture there of him. The King Jerry Lawler. Here's another one of Jerry Lawler. And this time he wrote Hall of, WWE Hall of Fame 2007. So he wrote King Jerry Lawler. WWE Hall of Fame 2007 on a WWE photo file. So very nice one of Jerry the King Lawler on a photo file. And we have a third one of Jerry Lawler. It's against Jake the Snake Roberts. Only signed by Jerry. We have so many Jakes as you saw earlier though. King Jerry Lawler, WWE Hall of Fame 2007. I don't know if this is a SummerSlam 96 match or it's a Raw, but it's a, a very nice picture, though, of Jerry the King Lawler with Jake the Snake Roberts, only signed by Lawler. All right, we did Jerry Flynn before. This is Jerry Lynn. Okay, he was the light heavyweight champion of WWE in 2001, and he also um, was had some good feuds with Rob Van Dam, I believe, in ECW, maybe around like 99. So this is Jerry Lynn. Okay, the guy who's also played JL in WCW, Jerry Lynn. And speaking of what I was talking about, there is Jerry Lynn again. This is him as JL in WCW. So there's his Mr. JL. There's his outfit with the mask. This was the same guy as Jerry Lynn you just saw. Okay, Jerry Lynn in WCW. Next one's a combo. It's Jesse and Festus. Remember that? The gimmick where Jesse would ring the bell and Festus would turn into a monster. He rings again. He's all calm and tame. So this one's Jesse signed over here. Festus signed up here. Nice double signature of Jesse and Festus on a WWE photo file. Um, I believe around like 2008, 2009, maybe even end of 07 they were a tag team. So again, Jesse and Festus. Very nice uh, double signature of them. All right, next one, Jesse the Body Ventura, and he signed it Jesse Ventura over here. China in the picture with him, but only signed by Jesse. As you see, it's PSA certified. So there we have Jesse Ventura, and on the back you can see the PSA cert. This is another one I got from Jesse Ventura. Um, Gorilla Monsoon's daughter gave me the cool picture of Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heen doing commentary together. And when I got it back, I mailed it to Jesse, and he signed it and sent it back. So it says, to Todd, Jesse Ventura. So there's Jesse the Body Ventura, along with Gromont Soon, only signed by Jesse. Nice picture there. And here's another one I got just the other day recently. This came from our good pal again, Bob Piveroff. And it says, Jesse the Body Ventura. There he is in the picture, along with our good pal, Bob Piveroff. All right, next one, Jillian Hall. She just signed it over here, Jillian Hall, on a DWE promo picture from 2006. Remember, she managed John Bradshaw Layfield. I think she turned face for a little bit, too, managing London and Kendrick and then turning heel again later through the Britney Spears gimmick. This is signed by Jillian Hall. 
She had that mole in her face one time, but luckily this pitcher doesn't have the mole on it. Like she got it eaten by the boogeyman by this point. Jillian Hall. All right, next one. This was sent directly to me by Jumping Jim Brunzel. It says, to Todd, you asked and you received. Jumping Jim Brunzel, August 16th, 2013. So almost nine years ago, Jim Brunzel took these like little small pictures and had a nice cool thing he sent me. Thank you, Mr. Jumping Jim Brunzel. You have beautiful penmanship, by the way. Here's our good pal, Jim Cornette. Everyone loves listening to him on podcasts and stuff like that. This is a picture of him cutting a promo on a Raw. And you signed over here, Jim Cornette. Nice one there. Okay, next one, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So he wrote Hacksaw J. Duggan. There he's with the flag and everything. Very cool picture of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And there's all details about when this signing happened. So it was March 18th. To, uh, March 18th, 2006. And it says where it happened somewhere in California and the whole cert and everything like that. So that was the Hacksaw Jim Duggan uh, signing. This is another Hacksaw Jim Duggan here on a WWE promo picture, probably a copy I'm guessing from 1990. So you wrote Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Hall of Fame 2011. Very cool one there of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. All right, next one, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Survivor Series 89, signed by three out of four members. So we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan over here. We have Brett the Hitman Hart over there, and we have Rugged Ronnie Garvin over there. This is not signed by Hercules, as Hercules is already deceased when this was signed, but this is the 4x4 Survivor Series team. Uh, the other three members are still alive as of this point in 2022. So we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Bret Hart and Rugged Ronnie Garvin. Nice picture of the four by fours. This came from uh, the wrestling universe. And there's their cert. Okay. Next one, WWF um, 1991 promo picture. Again, probably a copy. I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert on that stuff. But Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Sergeant Slaughter signed here. So double signed of Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Sergeant Slaughter. They teamed up a bit in uh, late 91, early 92. Really stands out nice in this like gold or silver kind of color they used. Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Sergeant Slaughter. Next up, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Thank God I got all these autographs of him when he was cheap. I know a lot of people are paying like $35, $50 for him now. He used to be like a $10 or $15 graph when he was alive though. So it says Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Nice picture there. Cool smile. And he, he looks great in this one. So the Anvil Jim Nightheart in this one. Here's another one signed by Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Maybe if I meet Brett in person again, we can add to it. I'm not going to take the risk and mail that away, but this is when they were the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. Just signed by Jim the Anvil Nightheart. <clears throat> All right, we have another combination one. This is signed by Jim Powers, who I used to help. I used to work with him. I was like his like, agent and helped him find indie show bookings. So it says, to Todd, best wishes, Jim Powers. And then I later mailed this to Nikolai Volkov, and he signed as well there in the bottom. So Jim Powers putting Nikolai Volkov in an arm bar, and it's double signed by both Powers and Volkov. At one point, I think I had like six of these photos signed by Powers, but I think I got rid of half of them. I sold some of them. So I still have this one. I have a solo one of him, and I have a Young Stallion one, but I got rid of the rest, I think. This is the other one I was talking about I still have. This is a solo promo picture one from WCW he gave me. And it just says Jim Powers on that one. And this again, I worked with him. He gave this to me in person, signed it for me in person at a diner. So it says Jim Powers, okay? WCW promo picture. All right, next one, we have Jim Ross. He wrote Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Fame 2007. Uh, not sure, I guess this probably came from Scott Ferenzi, not positive though, but a cool one there of Jim Ross. Nice inscription as a Hall of Famer at ringside prior to a Raw. Next, we have Jimmy Jam Garvin. So he wrote Jimmy Garvin here, and we have his wife, Pre Precious, and they work together. So Jimmy Garvin and Precious. They also both later signed for me through the mail on cards. And that one came from High Spots. All right, next we have the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. There he is at ringside, the megaphone. Nice picture there of Jimmy Hart. Uh, tons of signed photos of him. But again, tons more I could use as well. All right, another one of Jimmy Hart. He wrote Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South, 2005 Hall of Fame. Excellent inscription, really stands out. Very cool one there of the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. 
and there's some more information here of the uh, the signing and everything like that. And I have, I have a megaphone signed by him too. So there's a cert for the megaphone, nice stuff there. All right, here's a rare one. Um, this came from like an eBay seller who I think later Scott gave it, bought it from and it's traded with me. It's Jimmy Jack Funk. So a nice one of him sitting on the ropes, Jimmy Jack Funk, um, who was also known as Art Bar. Nice pick there of him as Jimmy Jack Funk. Okay. Here we have Superfly Jimmy Snuka. So he wrote Jimmy Snuka, TC, which I mean, I think means taking care of business. So there's Jimmy Snuka uh, getting ready for action. Here's another one of Jimmy Snuka. He's signed down here. It says Jimmy Snuka, 98, taking care of business. So he wrote Superfly as well. So Jimmy Snuka. Okay. And this is a combination one of came from Eric Sims. It says Jimmy from Jimmy Snuka taking care of business and the Taz Maniac. So Taz and Jimmy Snuka double signed this one uh, from their ECW days in 1994. Again, double signed Jimmy Snuka and Taz. Next one is uh, pretty new. This is Jimmy Valiant. So he signed it right here. The Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. Nice picture of him in action there, Jimmy Valiant. All right, here's Jimmy Wang Yang. So he wrote it there, Jimmy Wang Yang, the, the tough redneck gimmick, funny stuff there. All right, this one came from, um, this is kind of rare. This came from our good buddy, uh, Richie Sorrentino, pretty recently. This is Joe Malenko. I even tried Joe through the mail. I couldn't get him. Um, he's in the picture with Joe. There's his brother, Dean, and the British Bulldogs, Davy Boy and Dynamite, the trophy. This is from their Japan match, I guess, from 89. And it's only signed, though, by Joe Malenko. All right, here we go. We have Joel Gertner signed up here. He was a legendary thing from EC, legendary guy from ECW, and he would be like the Dudley Boys. He loved the he loved ring announcing the Dudley Boys. Joel Gertner from ECW. That came from the Wrestling Universe. Next one, rare one here. Um, I guess Scott got this from a guy named Ron. It says to Ron, best wishes, Joey Mags. Not many autographs of jumping Joey Mags out there. Very clean signature and a cool photo there. Joey Mags, uh, low card guy in WWF and WCW for many years. And uh, nice to have this Joey Mags photo in my collection. All right, next we have um, just signed by Joey Mercury. It's Eminem, Molina, and Nitro in the picture, but this one just signed only by Joey Mercury. And this is on a 2005 um, WWE photo file. Okay, it says P1032. Okay, so just signed again by Joey Mercury of Eminem. And there's more information on the signing and the cert and all that. Okay. Next one is Joey Styles. He wrote, oh my God, Joey Styles. Nice one there on a WWE photo file of the legendary Joey Styles. All right, keep on going. Here we have John Bradshaw Layfield here with the um, the SmackDown world title. He's a wrestling god. And he just wrote JBL down there. So nice one signed by John Bradshaw Layfield. Just signs JBL. Here we have the old signature of John Cena. So as you see, he wrote down like his full name, John Cena. Pretty cool WWE photo file. I'm not sure of the year. Oh, it says 2003. So it's the 2003 signature, I guess, of John Cena. And then later, Cena signed differently. He uses like a star or some kind of symbol. This is double signs. John Cena putting Edge in the uh, STF. So it's signed by John Cena here. And Edge signed it up here in silver. So we have a double sign one of John Cena and Edge. Pretty cool picture. I guess it's a match from like Raw or something like that. Could be a pay-per-view as well. I know they went out a lot in pay-per-views. All right, next one is um, Johnny Nitro. Or, yep, Johnny Nitro signed right over here. Or John Morrison. I guess he's John Morrison at this point. So John Morrison. And there he's holding the um, SmackDown world title, John Morrison. And that is a uh, sports fan promotion, sir. All right, here's a double signature one. This is John Morrison and Melina. So, you know, there was, that was like his girlfriend, and they were together. I don't know if they're still together or not, but there they are together here. John Morrison and Melina, double sign photo. Really nice. 
And again, another cert sports fan promotion. Okay, here we go. We have Johnny B. Ban. This one came from Scott, I believe. Johnny B. Ban. Okay, next one is Johnny Gunn. That one definitely came from Scott. So that was uh, when Tom Brandy was known as Johnny Gunn in WCW. Got a mustache even, like a porn star. All right, next one. This is Johnny Nitro, though. So he signed a little bit differently as Johnny Nitro. We saw the John Morrisons before. There he is as Johnny Nitro from a uh, 2006 photo file. All right, Johnny Polo. We saw the combo with Adam Bomber, which is really nice. Over here just signs basic J Polo, but uh, cool to have him. At least a solo one of him in my collection, even if it's a black and white photo. So again, J Polo, Johnny Polo. It was Raven. That came from Wrestling Universe. All right, here we have Johnny Rods. So you wrote Johnny Rods 2015. Cool picture of him there. And um, on the back, these are some ones he mailed me. So this, these came directly from Johnny Rods. He wrote to Todd. Best regards, your pal in pro wrestling, WWE Hall of Famer, the unpredictable Johnny Rods. That's a small photo. And over here's another one. He wrote, to Todd, good luck. Johnny Rods, 2015. And he wrote, old school over there. So two nice small photos there of Johnny Rods, famous for training a lot of wrestlers like Taz and uh, Damian Demento, among others. All right, here's a low-card guy. His name was Johnny Swinger. So he wrote, lasers are the swingman's best friend, Johnny Swinger. He was in WCW in the late 90s. I'm not sure um, whether Federation has been in since. All right, here we have Johnny V or Johnny Valiant. He's like, the dream team, the dream team. There's Johnny Valiant. Cool picture there of Johnny V. All right, speaking of Johnny V, we also got this one from Bob Hiveroff. This is a signed magazine page there of Johnny V by his face. So Johnny V, we have two signatures there. Next one, we have Jonathan Coachman. Um, so, yeah, he just signs the coach though, so that's Jonathan Coachman, like coming out cutting a promo on a raw, and he just signs as the coach. Okay, that came from Wrestling Universe. All right, next we have Jose Estrada, he was um, one of the conquistadors. There he's in the ring, a low card guy, he could do flips though, and stuff like that. Pretty cool. So, you know, best wishes in, in best wishes in 88 from Jose Estrada. So there he is. He had a son, too, and later in Los Broiglas. All right. Our next one is Jose Luis Rivera, and he had a whole bunch of gimmicks. We signed every gimmick. This came from Eric Sims. So I don't even know who Juan Lopez was. That's the first one. There he is as the Black Shadow. So he wrote The Shadow. Here he is as Mac Rivera. And again, I don't remember that one too well. There he is the one I know as Jose Luis Rivera. I also remember as a jobber named the Black Demon around 1990, maybe the beginning of 91 as well. The Sultan, don't know when he was the Sultan or what federation. There he is as Conquistador number one. So he wrote the Conquistador. Again, and he signed as Jose Luis Rivera here a second time. And there he is as the Red Demon. So that was like an 87 gimmick or so. So a whole bunch of things here signed by Jose Luis Rivera and all his gimmicks. A nice piece to have. And there's a solo one of Jose Luis Rivera signed here on the bottom by his legs. Jose Luis Rivera. There he's in the ring with the referee. And that will conclude binder number six. I'll be back shortly. I'll do binder seven in a few minutes. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.